Hey everyone, this is Sierra from The Little Red Coop and in today's video I'm going to be talking about why your horses are eating wood, aka cribbing. So, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the biggest reason why your horses could and can be eating wood is they don't have enough mineral in their diet. Now when your horses are doing this, it's a way of them trying to find an extra mineral in their diet and this can easily be fixed by providing them with a mineral lick or a salt lick or whatever you'd like to call it, but um, your local tech and feed store will probably sell them. Um, where I live, we have quite a few stores where they pretty much all of them sell it. Anything to do with like livestock usually have um, salt lick. Um, I'm not saying that's going to be for everyone, but where I live personally, there's almost salt lick in every, you know, country store. So um, my horses lately, I know that we've noticed that they've been trying to like strip the wood off of the tree. And when they do this, this is easily solved by um, just giving them a salt lick with my horses, that's almost always the case. As soon as they get the salt lick, they're, they stop cribbing. Um, my horse Toad doesn't crib that much, but my horse Copper loves to crib when he doesn't have minerals. So um, sometimes you can go to the store and find, you know, all sorts of different like flavored but really you don't need the flavored salt lick. All you really need is the mineral lick. Now, a salt lick and mineral lick are really, 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 really close to being the same thing. But mineral, hence the mineral, has natural minerals in it. And salt lick is a lot of the times just sugar, you know, molasses, you know, and g different types of ground grain slammed into a brick. And that's usually what salt lick is. Now, sometimes it's your horses don't have enough calorie in their diet and they're trying to find that from the wood or like the side of your barn, for example. Personally, mine like to strip the wood off of our trees in the pasture. Um, and they like to bite the fence posts and rip off big chunks from the fence posts. And that's almost always solved by um, just providing salt lick. Now, my horse's favorite salt lick is going to be the Lick It salt licks. Um, these are more so of like a boredom breaker, in my opinion. You know, I'll buy the molasses flavored ones, you know, hang it up in their stall. They go crazy, you know, they demolish it. But that is not providing extra minerals. That's where a lot of people get confused, thinking I'm providing my horse with, for example, a Lick It salt lick, and it, they're still cribbing. Now, Mineral deficiency isn't the only reason why your horses could be cribbing. Um, there's many reasons, and I'm only going to be covering some of them in this video. But the main salt lick is red rock for me. Red rock is literally a rock almost, and it has it's literally all mineral. And my horses, whenever they start cribbing, we always give them that, and that seems to stop it. So um, I really do recommend red rock if you have that available around you because that's pretty much the only salt lick that my horses will eat for fun and stops them from cribbing. But another reason why your horses can be cribbing is they're actually having pain. Now this might confuse, confuse a lot of you. Um, personally, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, you know, eating wood, but that's a horse's way of telling you that they have something wrong in their digestional tract, in their GI tract. Just belly problems is what it could mean. So sometimes um, pregnant horses will eat wood. So if you have a mare, she's been acting kind of moody and then she just starts eating wood and she starts getting bigger. You might have, if you have a stallion around, you know, that might be a reason. But um, a lot of horses will actually start eating wood when they get ulcers. Now, not all horses do this. But um, a friend of mine, his mare got ulcers and they 
the main reason why they started noticing that she was sick was she wasn't eating and all she was doing was standing by their barn and ripping off wood from their barn. So they found this out, they were like, hey, what the heck? So they like checked her over and when they were brushing her, they kind of brushed under her stomach and she started freaking out, she kicked out at them. And long story short, the vet came, turns out she has ulcers. So a horse can be eating the wood to try and be like, hey, not doing too well here, can you help me? So now that is the case some of the times, you know, not always. But the last reason that I'm going to be covering is boredom. Well, horses get bored so easily because, you know, there's really only like four different types of toys that you can buy them. Yeah, they come in different shapes and sizes, but sometimes, you know, horses just get bored with the toys that they're provided. Some people are like, horses need toys. Horses, salt lick can count as toys because it's entertaining them when they're not out in the pasture eating. You know, especially if you have a horse that's by themselves, they'll get bored really, really quickly. Um, when we, before we got copper, Toad was alone for about four or five months and he got bored very fast. You know, he got, he started causing trouble. He broke into the barn a couple times when the door, our door doesn't latch very good. You know, he'd just bunt it open if you ever didn't latch it very good. So, another reason to get your horse a friend. But when a horse starts doing this out of boredom, and a way to stop this is for one, providing minerals. For two, sometimes just providing a friend can stop that. And three, just have them checked out by a vet if you think that they're having digestional issues. Digest, I can't speak today, if they're having GI problems. Um, so stomach issues and another reason is this, well, yeah, horses can get bored. You know, there's multiple different ways to stop this. A lot of you might, um, your horses might be wearing crib collars, I think they're called, and it just goes on around their face and it makes cribbing uncomfortable. It does not hurt the horse. It just, that mo movement of how they kind of bend their neck trying to eat the wood that kind of stops them from doing that. You know, it doesn't stop the desire to do it. It just stops them from like wanting to do it because, you know, it feels weird. But they're still gonna be like, I really, I really kinda, I want the wood, you know? but it's just gonna stop them from doing it. But they're still gonna wanna do it, so really, if you're gonna buy a crib collar, your horse needs to be wearing them quite often, and as soon as you take them off, if you don't have them with toys or like mineral lit, because they might have a mineral deficiency, um, sometimes that can be a problem too. Personally, my horses have never cribbed from stomach issues or boredom. Um, Usually it's only mineral deficiency, so mineral deficiency is a huge reason why your horses can be cribbing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, I hope this guy, I hope this helped you figure out why your horses could be eating wood. Um, horses, in my opinion, don't tend to eat wood that much in the winter time, but my horses have started to strip the wood off of the trees, so I decided to make this video. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon on a new one. Bye!